Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. We're picking things up for episode 12 from turn 88 in the winter season of 207. So, we ended last episode by grabbing Zhuge Liang and Pang Tong. So we have our Sleeping Dragon and Fledgling Phoenix, and we're going to start assigning them to their proper locations. Historically speaking, Zhuge Liang was assigned to stay with Guan Yu in the Jin province, and Pang Tong went with Liu Bei to attack the Yi province. So that's what we're going to do. Despite the earlier plan of having Guan Ping being replaced with Zhuge Liang for a ranged army, Pang Tong can still do that, especially considering the fact that he got this hidden talent item, or set bonus, that's giving 25% additional range firing rate and 25% range armor piercing damage. Um, so that would help us quite a bit if we do replace him here. So that's the plan. We have enough savings to make that happen, but I think I'm going to let this army finish the siege. No reason they shouldn't do that. We do have this threat behind, but even if we lose this, the only weird situation is that Sun Tso's army could just take it, which would be pretty bad for us. But let's wrap this up first. This should just be a delegate here. We caught the general who was responsible for Guan Ping's death. Um, we don't really want her. Charge negation on Renu, kind of cool, but I don't think we need her. We're just going to be releasing her for a bit of money. Zhao Yun picks up 500 as a post-battle random event. Um, this entire group is actually going to get deleted just to save us a bit of money on redeployment. Not exactly quality troops either, so no regrets here. And we're going to swap him out for Zhuge Liang. Oh wait, Pang Tong. Sorry, sorry. Go back to the bench. Go back to the bench. Pang Tong's on assignment. Well, come on back out. We're going to get rid of these repeating crossbowmen for now. We might still end up giving him those, but just not now. So let's see what we want. Patience, fire, sight of the dragon. The active abilities are not that good. Where the wind is good. Hmm. Do I want to pick up reach? I think we come here and get the 25% damage and we'll pick up the active and reach later. I'll also recall you for now. They're not retaking that. I don't want her to die, so we're not going to go chase her. We're also going to do a bit of redeployment here. This army might actually get fired. I might actually get rid of these guys because historically they're not part of us. The reason is we are suffering from an army limit situation. But let me reconsider that because we do have reforms next turn and I could potentially pull something off from the red tree to get us an army. So we'll still consider that option. Basically, this will be Pang Tong's army with Zhao Yun and Huang Zhong. Liu Bei and Zhang Fei should also start going south, but right now that's fine. We'll be picking this up. And this should be just free. Now, while Miju did go with Liu Bei to the Yi province, Mi Fang stayed with Guan Yu. We also have to do that adjustment a bit later as well. I'm going to let him pick up the patience, and I'm just going to pass over here and actually pick up range damage. We will upgrade this. Alright, Wuling is under our control. The buildings are pretty nice. 
I would like to upgrade it. Mm, it's fine. It's not that expensive. If anything, it's a turn time issue. So we got a little bit of expansion here. They're going to go south, pick up the last piece of land Dorsa has. And then we'll be faced off against Meng Huo and Wu Tugu. I could pull a diplomatic move here and get a temporary peace with them, just for now, so we can focus on Duosi without any issues, and also not worry about losing it and getting it picked off by Sun Tzu's army, which would be really bad. So I think this is fine. We can ask them for a little bit of cash just to sweeten the deal. Okay, that was the max. Well, let him off the hook for now. I don't want to wipe him. We want Druga down to maybe have the story event. I do want to wipe out the others. We want to concentrate all the leaders under one faction so we can capture them and collect them, I guess. They're technically vassals of us in the future, so historically we can classify them as part of our Shu kingdom. Ah, oh, Luger wants back. Uh, he's 68. We have his set item. But we're gonna say no to him. I think we're good. We're just gonna check the buildings real quick. Finish upgrading this. And we can continue to downgrade. And they can go... Yeah, we're going to let her off. We can go back to town, I guess. They can hang out here for now. Let's end turn. I think I can do this as well, but 90 points with plus two, we're fine. I don't think we're... We could trash talk Sun Tzu into a situation where we can... Ooh, Shi Xie as well. Those are options, but uh, let's continue for now. Okay, so Koron joined the war. At least they haven't asked Sun Tzu yet. In fighting. We didn't help Liu Bao out, nor do I really care about helping him out. The Nai bestelment onto the, the Duchy of Wu. Path towards a kingdom. But no one can become a kingdom unless we trigger three kingdom event. So it doesn't really matter. Hong Tong joins this army. And he's going to be utilizing... Well, we gotta do a swap maneuver here. Two archers. Two siege weapons, two siege weapons there. Perfect. You'll get a weapon upgrade. Hmm. What's gonna save this one for Zhuge Liang or our son? But I think they can split. These have similar damage profiles. One has a set with the armor. I'm going to give the non-set one over. And I think we have one... Yeah, cunning horse. Not a fancy one, but we'll take it. Hmm. Not really worth the two points. Alright, that's fine. We'll let him recover a bit. No one has reach in this army. That's one weakness. He probably will end up being the one who gets reach. But right now, does he have honorable? Yes, he does. Um, so Huang Zhong's gonna lead, even though he doesn't have patience. He is higher level for better capture chance, and I don't think anyone has flexibility within their tree either. So replenish is also gonna be slow. We will continue to march on Wu Tugu's faction. No, Duosi. Duosi. Duosi has one little bit of land left. We're pretty healthy. It's very far. I feel like we just go for it. I don't feel comfortable marching. I don't think it'll save that many turns anyways, so we'll just take it cautiously and walk the whole way. They will probably go to war with Lady Jurong once the mustering gets to a reasonable state. Back over here, Cao Cao is sending armies, Yuan Shao is sending armies, perfect. So our main battleground 
is going to... Oh, Tai Ma made his way to Cao Cao. Very historical. And let's see what else we got going on here. No one else. Guo Jia made his way back to Cao Cao. Very glad to see that. Cheng. Probably a barbarian or like a nomadic faction there. Or character design. We're going to be ambushing over here. Well, we'll first sit here. They'll capture this. It's level 1. It cannot be downgraded anymore. We pretty much made as much money as we can. We mentioned we want the army. I also still want the satisfaction, but let's see what we can do in terms of plus one army count. N not much. The final one here. Yeah, there's only one on this entire red tree that can actually give us additional armies. Already got this one. So we also got this. So we got plus two already. We naturally have one at our starting rank, and then we get one more for Administrator. And now that's M plus two here, that's why we're at four. So there's really not much we can do here. I think we pick up this so that we can get this next year. And pick up the plus ten satisfaction. It should help us with our unity situation, which is finally growing again. Which means we can take Badong with just a simple um, confederate or unify. Alright, faction council. Let's not forget this time. Warsaw trade. We have an open trade route. Oh. Oh, we were trading with that with a faction that got destroyed, I think. Sure, I don't mind trading with you, actually. Especially if you can give me some cash for it. And then we should get a new recommendation in our faction council. Come on, let's get there. I can also get more administrators from Unity once it grows to 250. And that way we can um, get another army because we get another administrator when our Unity goes up. I actually think a peace deal with him is not so bad either because I'm going to turn my attention on Lady Zhurong right now. Duosi and Lady Zhurong are the ones we want to fight and then back to Meng Huo and then back to Wu Tugu. Oh wow, we can get a ton. Thank you. It might actually be better to ask him for cash. Because uh, they have a lot of savings that they don't use. I think as long as like, I think it's going to be around a thousand plus. There we go. Who else? Lady Xiaohu. I'm actually questioning if she's the right Lady Xiaohu because of her age. But then again, the mod has a lot of age issues. Because the only Lady Xiaohu that's relevant that I can think of is Zhang Fei's wife. And she should be very young, much younger than Zhang Fei. It was sort of a kidnap marriage. Mm, there's actually decent value if we want to continue down that route. I think we can confederate her. Wait, I, I think we can. Because the value... We have mutual enemy right now. So if I just get this up above 150, which we technically are, just gotta get, get one coin at a time. Or we can just do a do a promise deal right now. So I will make regular payments. I actually want some of her cash. We'll we'll do some really shady deal. Oh, she doesn't have much cash. But we'll do some really shady dealings here. Okay, she's actually not, like she's, yeah, we'll promise this, it's fine. It's never going to happen. So Zhang Fei is going to get his wife. I will clear one army off the, I'll continue to do the deals. I'll clear one army off the field. 
So we might get a chance to... Okay, let's just get these done so I don't forget again. Fatigue them, reduce their movement. I don't like these two. Maybe we can get a reroll after doing the diplomacy. It should have, yeah, it should have went up even though we didn't make any extra promises. I know we don't make that much, but the game is allowing us to go into debt as long as we hold uh, up to 10% of our cash holdings. And since we have plenty of cash holdings, now we just have to give her one at a time. There we go. We should be able to cleanly unify. We got rid of the army. I think we did everything we want to do. We're going to get Zhang Fei married. I mean, she looks so young. The artwork looks right. The, oh, I didn't... I didn't disband them. What am I doing here? It's okay. We really just wanted her. And her husband, who is <laughs> Yuan Xi. Uh, well, you're getting a divorce. You're 32. She's 52 for some reason. Obviously, she has all of... Uh, Liu Chong's faction items, advisor, purity. Ooh, this is the combo with the white fan. Ebon Prince, Liu Chong's horse, Chen Peacekeepers. Okay, wonderful. We're getting a divorce. Come on, come on. We'll let the man be the one. Oh, we gotta kick him out. Goodbye. Go back to your dad. Even though you're 52 in game, we're gonna assume you're like 22. Fertile, kind, dutiful. Zhang Fei, you get your wife. Alright. Done. All that work, so Zhang Fei can be happy. We also pick up Luoyang in this area, and obviously we're not supposed to have it. I don't think I want to trade it. I mean, I, I can't trade it to Cao Cao because we're at war. Unless, unless they end up being the reason we end the war. But we're supposed to be at war with him, but this way I can give him the land. I can just have him take it, actually. He will lose Imperial favor the entire way. And I'm just gonna deconstruct all these cities to give us a little bit of cash. Because I have no intention of keeping them. You don't get our tax building anymore. Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, that's a nice cash boost. Any changes here? Still a set item. Different army. Still Cao Cao. Oh, uh, it's Cao Cao's army instead of Yuan Shao's army. Actually, uh, doesn't matter which army. We'll pay for both of these. Just this army looks a little bit scarier. With this Yongnu Cataphract. This one we fought many times. It's a very similar setup. Cao Cao is no longer here. Time I'll replace Cao Cao. We could have gotten a few more generals, but we would have fired them anyways. Probably could have got a few more items. Made up I mentally thought I disbanded them for some reason. I mean, we got out of the diplomacy screen just to take a look at them, but then I ended up not actually getting rid of them. Big mistake on my part. But overall, in terms of roster, no difference. And with our new wife, we should be able to help our faction out. She's probably not going to see any time on the field, but 
she can do plenty of good in terms of assignments. Are they at war with Lady Zhurong? They're not. Okay. We're in a competition with them against Duosi and Meng Huo's lands. So they gotta hurry. I can't do anything about Meng Huo's land in terms of what they can do. If they take it, it could become a bit awkward. Unless... No, can't trade territories with them. Alright, I think that's good. We got some free land, but uh, those were eager to lose. Private workshop goes right here. We're reform locked on all these buildings. We need to fix that. But it's going to be a while because we're going over, going for that satisfaction boost. And that satisfaction is going to be key because now we can pick up Badung without going to war with Dongmin's. And then we can also pick up uh, the weapon craftsman here, land over here, and... Hmm. We need to return to war with them eventually, but first let's clean up all of the interior problems we have. I think we're good. Let's continue here. Now, question. I'm actually curious to see how he feels about us, because he needs to get killed. He's not supposed to be alive anymore. Then, no. Alright, we're getting hit with a series of faction... Uh, council faction missions. Hong Zhong's army is getting minus 10%. Oh, I think our spy got recruited. Young Wall comes of age. We finally ranked up with all the prestige we got. Good. This is very key. Uh, because we downgraded everything. It's not happening. But we're going to get it soon. See, I don't want him to pick up Su Sutron. I want Cao Cao to pick up Sutron, but I can't stop him. Well, if we're losing these, keep downgrading. I'll get half price. Because, you know, half price is better than no price when he starts sieging us. It's okay, we'll get the prestige eventually in the south. It will slow us down a little, but we're fine. No one wants to take in, uh, rule now over here. We'll wait for them here. And then we'll probably use them. We'll move them into the county and then just hide them behind. They should contribute for us. This is one threat. We lose the mustering. They're not going to be full heal, but we need to start moving. These are too slow. Okay, they do have a stack. Good thing we're not marching. Zhangfei's son, son of the brawling tiger. No weapons for him, strange. Unless we got one and he's just not equipped with it. I mean, we're not sure in terms of item for him. There's no set. He, I believe, is MTU, so he does have a series of unique abilities. Blood Rush, sort of like final, but, uh, final push, final rush but no health requirements, so as long as he's charging, he gets these benefits, which is actually really good. Avenge, splash, kills enemy melee evasion, super good. And a roar for 30 morale, three uses, minus 50% speed on enemy. Very good, jump wall's very strong. I think we could start here, because he's level two, and we just work our way towards reach first before we do anything. No rush on him being deployed. But he is going to turn on us in eight turns because he's too happy working on Cao Cao's faction. We got him back in. Cao Cao's faction is looking more and more historical. We want to get Xu Shu back if we can. So, you're there. There's going to be a lot of spy defense for us to actually break through the faction. Do I want to pay to take a look at um, Yuan Shao's faction? Not really. I'm going to just let him sit there. I won't disown him. In eight turns, he'll go. And in this eight turn, we'll see if we can lower him a bit to make him either turn or come back. Both will be nice. Zhang Xun went to him. Liu Yao went to him. These are people we said goodbye to. Xia Houyuan did not go back to him. I mean, yet. So, we'll see if that fixes itself. 
全超，却选 still alive， 边缘。Any items on them? Hmm. We're gonna pass these. Get that going. Luoyang, Nanyang. All right. I'm gonna wait for Tsao to take those land himself, and we're good to go. All right. Our ambush work. One, the army picked. The, up the city, Zhang Hong's army is the one that marched into us. It doesn't look free. I don't really care for the garrison. We can take them on ourselves. We have one, two, three, four cavalry, a couple archers, but not that many. We can get a couple duels off of them. Everyone has resiliency, no need to worry about who dies or not. Let's go. Alrighty, ambush, ambush, ambush. Um. Tricky part is individually, our army's not that strong, so I don't mind if most of them make a run for it. I just want to stop some of them. All right, we don't want to risk get into a real fight with them. I think we have fire arrows now, yeah, so that can help. I'm trying to find a slightly clear area that's kind of far away from where exactly they are. Hmm. I'm not sure we have an ideal ambush situation here. I might just defend here, but then they're just not going to escape. Yeah, there's too much trees for once. Complaining about how many trees there are because we're gonna likely burn ourselves. If I defend here, it's fine, but um, we're gonna get a lot of pressure from them from the beginning. And our front line, these spear guards don't actually hold that strong. We're gonna have to put one back here just in reserve. Have them charge out, pick them off in the beginning, or actually from the side. They can come out first. The others don't have to come out. We're gonna have to utilize our generals really well here. Make sure firing is available. I'll stand with them. No dueling on him. All right, we're good. They're gonna see us. I want to see how they react first. Wait, we left a unit over here. Wait, he was supposed to guard this flank. All right, it's too late for them. Um, if they show up now, they're just gonna get killed. All right, we'll pick off both generals. You guys ran the wrong way. All right, we're gonna pick off the range. Two cavalry pick up their cavalry. Come over here. We'll pick up range very soon too. There's some spear units. Okay, they're not exactly on us. It's fine. This is good. Gonna relocate through the forest. Charge over here. Use your abilities. Give yourself some shield. Pull them into the forest. Okay, at least no one attack this side. Throw you over here. One you one one. All right, got on top of them. Got on top of them. Two cavalry on that. Two cavalry on that. Go pick them off. Don't fight the spear. While you join in, Zhang Fei. If you can't find a horse, it's okay. Alright, they're broken. Cavalry coming to assist. 
go help the frontline situation over there. Are you back on your horse? Okay, you are. So, let's help over here. We'll let the frontline do the frontline job. No reason to engage with their spear here. Go away. Oh, we still got flanked. It's okay, Guan Yu can help this situation. Pick them off, pick them off. There's still some people wandering over here. No, stay here. There's still people running around. Shore up this defense here. Well, you will chase there. Just these two. Our range units can take care of them. When that time comes, cavalry can all report back. March up. Couple of them will bounce back. It's okay. They're mostly behind us. Ah, you got a downhill charge on us. Alright, let's just divide and conquer. You guys get this. We'll get the three brothers take care of this cavalry. Tiger and Leopard right there. Let's engage. Once they engage, we can flank. Alright, beat back the Tiger and Leopard. Beat back this group here. You guys shoot them down. They're just unbreakable for a little bit, but that should change soon. Help that poor fellow out right there. Alright, just gotta wait for them to pass. These two will both have a little unbreakable moment here. Nothing we can do about that. Just gonna have to let it pass. Go away. Yeah, just go away from them. Alright, not the cleanest fight, but it's alright. We're on our own land. We can heal from this. Yeah, we caught them again. Release on both. Now they're running two armies at us together. Xu Fu is here. They have a juggernaut, which doesn't really matter for AI to use the juggernaut. It's our chance to capture him. Especially if we pull like a heroic victory here. I can't do night battle, so they're going to be in here. But I don't think that will swing the power. Yeah, let's fight this. Alrighty, this is a nice open field fight. Um, foggy, which it's alright. They're attacking us, so I have every incentive to not engage early. I'm going to just leave the tower randomly, this randomly, and this randomly here. Move onto this hill. And then we'll wait for our reinforcements to show up. If we can hide them, we will. We should be trying to look for duels. We'll 
frontline them all together. Range units right behind. Fire arrows on these. Flank. Flank. Reserve. For emergencies. Alright, let's go look for a few duels. There might be a couple. They also have a tower, but we're on defense, so they better come towards us. If they don't, then we just win by default. Alright, we see that they don't want to duel. Now it's our job to guide them away from these cap. Oh, they're not hidden. Not enough trees. Okay, just not enough trees. Then, then, then just sit in the back. Hmm. I have no interest in getting charged by one of their cavalries. But if that cavalry is willing to charge this far out, hello. And we are happy to just rock them. Alright, let's see if we can lure another one over. Any takers this time? Nope. Oh, they see everything because Guojia. Alright, all seeing. Alright, we got two cavalry taking the, our bait this time. Even got the formation. Oh, they're not really taking it. Wedge. Ooh, ooh. They sent more help, but still. We should be able to clean them up. As long as there's no range component, this is definitely a fair fight for us. Kill them one at a time. Pick off most of their cavalry forces first. Blunt this charge. With the generals. Ooh, the traps on the ground is not friendly. Let's see if we can use them to charge out of here. Alright, they broke. They broke. Let's see if we can wipe them real quick. But it's probably safer if we just yep, yeah, just pull away. Right, a large group of infantry attachment actually left their front line. I'm gonna divert them. And we're gonna go approach their generals. So we barely lost any health and we wiped out four of their elite cavalry, which is all they had. And they overextended their crossbowmen, actually. It's not being protected. Oh, they have a couple on the other flank. We kind of were too conservative with the tower placement. Should have placed it over here. You see Zhangfei with the fatigue immunity showing off right here. Let's divide these up so we can micro them a little bit better. Gonna try to pull them behind. And then they will get into position here. They will also take out their forward crossbowmen before they can do anything. Uh, we don't have to shoot. Kind of wasting arrows here. Alright, we're pulling them apart a little. Ooh, they're within firing range. Pull them out. Anyone wants... Ah, yes. Let's kill you. And yeah, let's kill you. And yeah, let's kill you. Now we can micro the cavalry a little bit better. Just... I think he's... Yeah, three strategists left. Might as well give everyone breakable for no reason. Spam the abilities. 
They're not approaching us head on. Let's adjust a little bit. Or it's too late to do any adjustments. Let's call these five, pull them out. I don't think we're getting flanked by anyone, so let's actually just pull them this way. He looks lost. Uh, I actually don't want to charge now. It's still kind of a messy situation. Mm, we gave Liu Bei the toughest one. It's okay. Liu Bei can pull out. If not, makes the other two brothers stronger. Alright, should be quick. And now on to the next one. Alright, now he's really overstretched. Zhang Fei won first. He needs to find his horse and then we'll micro him. Ooh, the Juggernauts are here. I think it's too late to pull these out. There might be some losses here, but it will take it. Oh, they're closing in the spear units back onto us, so we'll use this to charge out. They got to that crossbow unit. Now, if one of you can get over here, John Fei's back on the horse. John Fei can help chase him down too. Actually, John Fei takes care of the axe band. They can help there too. Our three cavalry got out for free. Charge that, charge that. Fly out. Alright, another win here. Stay away from any spear. Let our cavalry take care of that situation. While he's back on his horse, we'll hunt down the enemy cavalry. Reset them. Yobei also won. Spared her. Front line looks fine. We can return the favor there. Charge out. Nice. Now set up over here. Alright, they're stuck here. We might as well help them. Spear still chasing us. You guys all finish this mess here. Pull back. Alright, they just ran to our infantry and got wiped. There goes the Juggernaut. Charge here. Close them in. Close them in. Alright. Time to pull them out if we can. We did not lose a single unit so far. Close that out. He's just unbreakable for a little bit. We'll just ignore him. Pull that way. Alright, their entire line is going to shatter. This one's also going to take a while to realize they are broken. Get him broken first. Okay, shoot, shoot here. Come on. How much? Oh, he's, he's done. Yeah, he's done. No more ammo on you, you can back off. Reform the line. Cavalry come out. Sorry, forgot about them for a second. A couple arrows here. They will break. Three, two, one, yep. They're going to break. We'll make sure they break. Alright, army loss has kicked in. I'll leave the strategists alone. That unit almost got routed. He's going to have 14 more seconds. So there's no point to take any losses on them. Just everyone pull away. Keep shooting him. Make sure he doesn't bounce back after the one second. There we go. Two. He's done. Negative 90. 
and we win. Give us heroic. That was a pretty good win. We lost one unit end due to a little bit of mismicoring. Ah, close victory. Gotta be kidding me. If we were weaker, maybe we would have got heroic. This is just we were too strong. We didn't capture who we wanted, but we have a chance to attack them and try to capture next turn, so that's still good. We'll release everyone here. No, don't want to deal with you. And Dulce's army rather fight us than for us to fight them. Okay. Ah, maybe they can control the weather. They bought themselves a, a rainy fight. No matter. We can set fire to the rain. We finally unlocked Turtle. Miju leveled up to level 4. Speaking of Miju, I should use this ability a bit more. And even though it says no dueling right now, we could perhaps change their mind. I should get him a gold weapon for Mifeng. Mifeng. Is he stuck in the machine? Yeah, he, he was. They have no chance. This is before the fire attacks. Alright, let, let you do your thing first. Just onto some unit, doesn't matter. It's not a lot of arrows, one wave of a hail of arrow wave, but it's, in, it's a fire arrow. It's kind of cute. It, it doesn't hurt that much. It's more for the visual effect. Alright, now we're just gonna bother them so much until one of them's willing to duel me. Ah, let's start with you. Ah, hidden units. Mm, I could give him a duel too. Speeds up, picking things up. Yeah, let's do that. I think it's going to be my job to keep them unhidden. Please kill fast. I used to have another general running around. Let's see if we can do something close range. Ooh, that was fast. Let me try to pick up this fight. Perfect. They're just outside of our range. That's okay, the archers got this. Good luck, infantry. That unit just melted. Oh! Turtle! Ah, uh, that's actually even worse. Alright, don't turtle. Kill her, or him. There we go. That ability really hurts. Alright, that's it. Good fight. Alright, the Hidden Vipers got a few up close shots on us. Did some damage, but overall, not bad. We are on their land, so it is a little bit awkward. I'm gonna release 
her, but I'll execute him for the item. All right, we lost some land. Liu Minshan? Sumayi appeared in Teltal's court. Okay, whose kid is this? This is not our kid. Liu Bao's kid? Maybe. We had Liu Chong for a turn. We never had Liu Bao, though. We had Liu Bao's daughters. We had Liu Yao. We had Liu Yao's daughters. Ah, Lady Xiaohou's kid. Lady Xiaohou is married to Liu Chong. Liu Chong's son. Liu Chong's son. But then Lady Xiaohou was married to Yuan Xi as well. I mean, I feel like we just kick him because he doesn't belong. Or we can keep him for a Simon character and just consider him Liu Chong's son. It'd be related to Liu Bei in a sense. All right, the administrator leveled up a little bit extra income for the peasantry side of things. They're too weak to take the city, but they can try. Alright, we'll debate about him later. I'm not gonna waste a turn chasing them. Oh, he has more land. That's good. We, we take more land from him. I say we declare this war. This is going to be rough. Lady Jerome's no joke, but this is only a matter of time. Aldia got promoted. I'm not going to make... I, I can try this. He might have... Yeah, he might have defense there. So we're going to cancel. Plus seven a turn. We can convert this, but I'm sure there's a massive defense here. So we're gonna wait a few turns. We need 30. At least we know what we need now. Yeah, that's that's gonna be tricky. Unity is finally building up, thanks to Lady Sathold's assignment. Jushu, you're gonna be ours. We're gonna make that happen. So what's our capture percentage here? 36%. 36%. Okay. We'll, we'll go with that. They're in my county. We're going to just sit behind here. Yep, yeah, we're in the territory. Debuff. We'll hide them. They're allies, right? They're in an alliance. I could get everyone into this big fight. But do I really want that? I'm just here to try to capture him. I will still have enough movement to do something else. So I think we night battle this. Make sure we try to pick him up. If not, we have a second chance. All right. Yeah, you can hide in a corner all you want. It's not going to make any difference. They have no one that can duel. They're not gonna move. They have no incentive to move. They're on defense. I'm just gonna run at them. Alright, I have your tower. What are you gonna do now? Oh, they, they don't stand a chance. Look at this. The terror and the scare being applied to the units. I mean, they're already super weak, so, so it's, it makes sense. There's a couple of seconds on the Tingle units. And then the rest is just going to be clean up on the cavalry. She will come back to us. Oh, we killed Zhu accidentally. I mean, it's going to be at least decisive. 
Now I do realize capturing him would be ahistorical. He never got to return to Shu, but it'll be a nice thought. We're not gonna follow the path entirely till we kill ourselves. You know, that's not the ah, you're not the one. Go away. Alright, so now we can drag him sort of into another fight. And then have another chance at him. He still has the resiliency. So let's Oh, there's another army. We're gonna get gained up on quite a bit. There's a there's an issue though. You see he's on the other side of the river. I still want to attack him, because I want to stay on our side of the river. We will drag the other army in just so we can wipe it out. Let's go. Alright, there should be no timer this time because they are on March. This is their you know army wipe battle. So they should be charging at us to their death. At least that's what I expect. So we will put a tower up there. Where is their reinforcement coming from? Behind us. Hmm. A little tricky, but should be okay. Are they gonna sit? I mean they can sit. We'll take care of this group first then. They have to come to us. We'll defend both of these rocks. They really need to put more terrains like this to make the map more interesting. Troy does a lot better job of this. They're burning their own land because uh, Qingzhou units are bored. Alright, let me go take care <laughs> uh, No, no, you, you, you guys stay here. One, you're not one. We've seen this show already. Let the scare and terror touch everyone. Route, route, route. Let's have a talk. We're gonna knock you out. No hard feelings. Actually, no. He yeah, we're gonna knock him out because it's better this way since there's a chance that if he gets summoned back with the last wound, we get 40% chance of uh, increased chance of capturing him. He's not gonna pick up a wounded trait because Heartbreak is ready a wounded trait. So he ready technically have a wounded trait. Alright, overwhelm his cavalry position. If you call that cavalry. And then we're going to move behind and take care of his range. Hello, boys. Alright, we're just going to charge straight in. What is there to be scared of? We're just going to run through them. Wait, is Liu Bei on foot? Uh, Liu Bei's ready on foot. Guan Yu's also on foot. It's okay, Zhang Fei is the one like, I'm still mounted. Alright, Zhang Fei take care of that situation. It's just a timing thing for them. Maybe we'll kill all of them before they time out. It's a possibility. It's 10 seconds on him. It's not worth it. Why is taking more damage than it needs to happen? Alright, let's see if we can capture him here. Alrighty. Yes, but he doesn't want to come back, so we gotta release for now. He's making us follow history pretty hard here. Alright, it's nice these armies are gone. Because honestly, they have a little bit too many armies here. 
try to pull back here. We're going to get hit by potentially two, maybe more, who knows. And we'll see how we take care of that. Now that movement's not going to get saved, but it's fine. We'll come back. Oh, here. We'll trigger this as a save point. Not going to fight this yet. But we'll come back and fight this at the beginning of next episode. And we're looking to finally touch the Yangtze River, move into uh, the Ba region over here, into Chengdu eventually. And then we'll have a nice neighbor in the north to Dongmin and the rest of the Han Empire territories. We'll be able to annex them using our points, which is finally building back up. Yeah, finally building back up. And Duosi, I don't know how much more land he has. He keep having counties as capital, so he doesn't have a city. So I don't expect too much. You can see he only has this piece. And then it's going to be back to war with Wen Huo at that point. We did a pretty good job of getting a unification. We got Zhang Fei his wife. That's a pro. See, seeing 18 here makes me feel hopeful that we can actually confederate them. Because that would be the outcome. If we confederate them, we get to keep Liu Zhang. Who historically you know, lived in the Jin province under Guan Yu's watchful eyes for the rest of his life. Yeah, we can. Our military strength is so much higher than theirs, we can actually get this done next episode. So if I can rank up and get a few army counts, we'll do that right off the bat. Maybe Fa Zheng's with them. Not guaranteed, because Fa Zheng doesn't start with any faction in 190, but we'll see if we can pull that off. This is not... Oh, this is possible too. We want to do this just for the wives. And then I'm, I can put Shi Xie out there as a vassal and then release him back in the Dell province. So this would speed up most of our expansion plan out here and we could take the Nanman factions on, focus on them, and then get ready to trigger Three Kingdoms because we need those prestige points. The duchies are all set up perfectly right now. We'll have Wei, we'll have Wu, and that would be a great setup for us. Ignore the north, Cao Cao should have taken care of it, but AI only likes to stare at us. As a matter of fact, he should be taking these land too, but he's too slow. We'll let him, you know, get to that eventually, but right now that's the situation. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!